Howdy everybody, welcome back to Outnumber Barbecue. Italian beef sandwiches are really popular in Chicago, but I'm going to show you how I made an Italian pulled pork sandwich. Let me show you how I did it. I'll be using this 11 pound bone-in pork butt from Prairie Fresh. Unfortunately it does have this pretty large gash. I will trim that down later, but the main thing I'm going to do is trim down this fat cap. Now let's get our Italian rub together. We'll start with equal parts kosher salt, black pepper, Italian seasoning, and garlic powder. And just give that a mix. Let's go ahead and trim off this little mango piece and then we'll apply the rub. Keeping with the Italian theme, I'll use olive oil as a binder. Just a little bit, rub it in, and then we'll sprinkle on this Italian rub. The workhorse is already up to temp. Let's get it out on the smoker. I'll be smoking this Italian pork butt at 300 degrees. While that's smoking, we'll put together our Italian braising liquid. I'm using this Louis Italian beef au jus seasoning. You can get it on Amazon. I'm just going to mix it in this one quart container with some cold water. And once we're ready to wrap this pork butt, this liquid will go in as well. If you don't want to use this pre-made mix, just use the leftover Italian rub we use for the pork butt. Mix it with a little low sodium chicken broth or beef broth. That should work just fine. And we'll also be using this jar of hot jardinera. We've been smoking at 300 for four hours. Let's see how it looks. Nice color. Those Italian herbs are really roasting on. This looks great. Mm. 
Now that we've hit 165 degrees, we'll go ahead and pull it off and put it in the wrap. I'll be using this aluminum pan. Transfer this over to the aluminum pan. Catch any juices we might have missed. Then we'll add this Italian beef au jus mix. And then that whole jar of hot jardinera. Cover it with foil and it'll go back on the pit till it hits an internal temperature of 200 degrees. Here we are after seven hours total. We've reached an internal temperature of 200 degrees. We'll go ahead and transfer this extremely tender pork butt into a different aluminum pan. Make sure you get all those pieces left behind. Now we'll strain out this liquid so we can separate the gravy with this hot Chardonnay vegetable mix. Now we'll just put this au jus back in the pan. Now we're ready to shred this pork butt and make us some Italian pulled pork sandwiches. Bone comes out clean. Yep, I think it's done. To make these sandwiches, I'll be using this bolillo roll. Go ahead and slice that down the middle. And then we'll add some provolone cheese. And let's get this in the toaster to melt that cheese. Now that this is nice and melted, we'll get a big helping of this Italian pulled pork. Dunk it in this Italian gravy. This is going to be a messy sandwich, but that's okay. It's supposed to be. Once we get enough pork in there, we'll top it with this hot Italian jardinera mix. That looks pretty good. Let's give it a taste. That's a good sandwich. Well, once again, thank you for watching. That's how I make an Italian pulled pork sandwich. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Thanks for watching.